Hello, so today I've got one of these to do a video on. Now this is a Soviet style Y2K respirator, although this is a post-Soviet model. Um, actually came with new with tags on it. So there you go, that was the tag. Doesn't mean anything to me obviously because I don't speak Russian, but I'd assume looking at the bottom bit, block post RU either means um, Soviet block post like new products or postal orders, not sure. There's the bit on the back, or it has the Y2K bit. So thanks to the viewer, whoever it was, that mentioned on the Chernobyl videos what these are actually called. So this is actually better constructed than I thought it would be. The straps aren't brilliant, but other than that, it's quite good. So you've got your exhale valve on the front there with a sort of green plastic cover over it. You've got this sort of green foam. Um, you've got a nose clip. And then inside, you've got two inhale valves, a plastic lining, a bit to keep the shape of it and your exhale valve. So how this works is the foam and the paper stuff on the inside of the foam is your basic particle filter. Then what you've got is obviously the two valves so the airflow comes through on either side of your nose. And then you've got your exhale valve. So the only thing that's a bit lacking on this is the straps. Um, these kept pinging off when I first tried to sort of use it. So I assume you're meant to put it on like that, pull it down and then pull this up over your head like this so you get it with a head harness style design behind the ears, like that. So then pull it like that, clamp the nose section around your nose and then you've got your basic particle filter. Let's, so let's just do a pressure check. Yep, seems to inflate a bit so it's sort of pressurised. Now as you know, I'm not a, ba I'm not a very big fan of kind of like dust masks. Uh, but this is a bit better constructed than most dust masks. It's kind of like a very cheap half face respirator. So how it works obviously is it's designed to filter particles. It's not like activated charcoal or anything like that. But let's say you're working in a dusty environment. The dust either gets caught in the foam or the paper layer. Then the clean air goes through both of the intake valves on either side. Then you exhale out there. Now the nice thing about it having a plastic lining means that the actual... Um, your sort of the humidity in your breath and sweat won't damage the inner liner so your sweat and everything will stick to the inside until it comes out the exhale valve hole which is pretty well designed so yeah um if you've been watching hbo's chernobyl you'll see that lots of the uh, liquidators and people have the masks on like this they've got the older soviet style brown ones but it's essentially the same mask it's very simply constructed but it actually works quite well because the, obviously the whole idea of it is it's just a dust mask. Now, as I said, this is much ba better than the flimsy paper dust masks, which I'd certainly advise you against using. But in quality, it's not as good as like a silicon 3M half face mask. So if you're buying one of these for practical use, I don't know how practical this would be. Um, you know, I'd probably definitely advise a 3M half face mask or a Chinese copy of a 3M mask over this. However, this isn't bad. I'd certainly feel a lot more confident wearing one of these than one of the sort of very basic paper dust masks, because I've said it does seem to pressurise. So yeah, overall, not too much I can say about this. The Soviet style Y2K respirators, it's just a very basic, du basic dust mask, basically, a particle mask. I assume it'd be at least P2 rated, I doubt it'd be a full P3 rated mask, but, you know... It's nice and simple and does the job, and it's obviously reusable. So I said the only downsides to it really is the strap system, because the strap system is basically just two buckles with a bit of elastic on either side of it, but obviously how it's meant to work is you put the mask on, then pull the bottom strap backwards, keep the top strap there, and then obviously make sure the nose clamp is sort of tight against the top of your nose. Make sure your chin's in this bit. And there you go. So as you can see, not loads more I can say about this. This would be good if you were trying to do some sort of Chernobyl liquidator look or something like that. Or I guess Russian industry kind of use. Soviet industry use. But as I said, it's, for what it is, it's practical. But I can't keep going on about it because there's not much to say. I can't do an aerosol test or anything like that with it because as I said, it doesn't block vapour. You'd still be able to smell odours through it. If I get the banana oil out, I'd be able to smut now all that no problem, but I'll just show that. Yeah, I can smell that instantly because, as I said, this doesn't block vapour, it doesn't have activated charcoal and it's a dust mask. But if I was in a dusty environment, 
it would work absolutely fine for that, I imagine, because it does seem to keep a good face seal, unlike the little paper builder's masks. And, you know, you could wash this, I guess, and reuse it quite a few times before the foam and everything eventually breaks. But, yeah, not a bad design at all. Obviously, the cost of buying one of these from Russia with postage and everything else ends up being just over £10 around £10 or a bit more. So for that price, obviously, yeah, I'd say get a Chinese 3M style copy mask if you wanted to get a proper mask or one of those sort of cyclist foam um, half face masks for particulate use. But if you wanted it as um, a collector's piece, you know, a Soviet style or Soviet designed, even if this is the post-Soviet model dust mask, yeah, for that, it's pretty good. And um, I'd certainly recommend it for that.